I'm Lee, this is Simply Camper Van Conversions, and today's episode, we're gonna find how much love I've still got for my Lumberjack TS1800 table saw. So on my original unboxing, building, reviewing video of this, I got lots and lots and lots of questions. Um, but a lot of people since then have asked me, do you still love it as much as you did when you unboxed it and built it? Are you still in love with that table saw? Is it still your favorite purchase? And today I've decided to answer as many of those questions as I possibly can. So I have absolutely put this table saw through its paces over the course of the last year. Pushed it to its limits and probably a little bit beyond. Um, there's a few things that are a bit annoying about it. But on the whole, it hasn't been a bad table saw for the money. Things that I still think are really good about this table saw. The fence. The fence has been very trusty very solid, very sturdy, and accurate. Um, at one point I was thinking of upgrading it, I don't know why, um, just, I think because everyone says, fence, 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 must have a good fence, gotta have a really good fence. Um, so, I got it in my head that I needed a better fence, but I really didn't. The fence held up really well. Uh, the cast iron bed, is absolutely brilliant. Uh, it could do with a little bit of TLC. Maybe should have done it before the video, but let's be honest. I'd rather show it in all its glory with its mucky marks and uh, cup stains, uh, but it does need um, a bit of a clean and a bit of a wax. Uh, but all in all, the cast iron tabletop is absolutely awesome. Still solid straight true beautiful uh the ruler guide so the ruler guide i'm not gonna lie i've never used it since the day i set it up um i found that some of the bolts on the underside uh, are extremely difficult to get to when you're setting it up obviously i keep them tight so it don't fall off because it's holding the fence in place uh, but any micro movement in that when they become loose uh, and that's going to knock your guide out so i just don't bother with it um i'd rather just use a tape against the fence uh, and that way although it might take a little bit longer you know it is absolutely accurate if you watch the first video on this and if you haven't i'll leave a link to it in the if you watched the first video on this, and if you haven't, I will leave a link in the description so you can watch uh, as I unbox this and get very excited about it. You will have seen that the most thing I got really, really, really excited about was the blade guard. Um, I vowed that I was from that day forward going to use a blade guard because I loved it so much and it had so many cool little features. It lasted a couple of days. It lasted a couple of days before it still got in my way, even with its extra little flappy floppy bits, um, bits and bobs that it can do. Uh, it still, I found it was just getting in my way, um, and I just used push sticks, which is a good job really, because as you can see from my push sticks, I'd have more bits like this missing out my thumb. Yep, that's a table saw injury. My previous table saw bit me. Obviously, I wasn't at fault whatsoever. The table saw just jumped out and attacked me like an absolute psychopath. But I learned from the mistake. 
Um, so yeah, I'm not using the blade guard, even though it is a pretty cool blade guard with some really cool features, uh, I still find it gets in my way. I use this table saw for cross cuts, miters, uh, joints, ripping, it's been really versatile. It has been the focal point of my workshop. Teamed up with my 8x4 workbench, it has been an absolute godsend. Uh, honestly, I can't still recommend for the money this table saw enough. I do believe and I have heard that the price has gone up, so then possibly... Um, there might be other things on the market uh, that could trump it. Uh, but if they've gone up, you know, we're living in a new normal world now and everything seems to be skyrocketing through the roof. So the things uh, that this may be superseding in price now have probably gone up as well. So then it's still good for the money. Uh, but obviously I got this um, cheaper than it is now. So I definitely think it was definitely, definitely worth the money. Uh, still really in love with it. But there are a few little things that annoy me about this table saw, which I found over the last year. And when I say little, I do mean little. They're not the end of the world. Uh, I'll give you the smallest one first, the littlest pet peeve that I've got about this table saw, and that is this. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this very well, um, but I'll explain it before I send you inside the saw. Uh, but basically, there's like a, a tiny little ledge all the way around uh, the coned bottom, which attaches to your dust extraction, so it just holds on to um, bits of sawdust at the top. I told you it was a little pet peeve, but it, it annoys me. Um, if they'd have just made it slanted all the way around, no sawdust would get trapped inside there, and it can build up over time. Um, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but we'll try and show you. Oh yeah, there you go. So that there um, is the ledge, and you can see how sawdust is all sitting on it. Uh, it's like that all the way around. There's just this ledge that just collects sawdust, and over time it builds up. So I have to get like a stick, you know, when I want to really give it a birthday and, um, and poke that all off, which obviously isn't too hard on this side, but trying to get into that side is ridiculous. If it had just been slanted all the way from the top, I don't, I don't know, there might be a reason why they had to do it that way, but it would have all just fallen straight into the dust extraction uh, and been wonderful. Second thing that is a bit more annoying, um, I'm yet to find a replacement is the arbor it's 16 mil um thomas when i made the first video didn't really give it a second thought it came with a blade i bashed it on i turned it on it worked wonderful everything was peachy creamy um but then you go to water blades and finding 16 mil blades is a little bit no, it's not a little bit. It's a lot harder to find 16 mil blades than it is 30 mil uh, blades. And by 30 mil, I mean the bore size, not the size of the blade, obviously. Um, it means that, yes, the arbor is long enough for things like a dado stack. Try and find a 16 mil dado stack. Yes, you can get little adapters to take it from 16 mil um, up to 30 mil to hold another blade, which is okay if you're only using one blade, but it is annoying when you're trying to put an entire stack together uh, and they all just start falling out and not working properly. So that is probably my biggest annoyance about this saw. The fact that um, you just can't get a wide variety of blades that are just gonna drop straight on the saw when you wanna use them. You wanna switch from ripping to fine cutting, you wanna be blade off, blade on, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, get on with it, and you just can't do that um, because you gotta mess around putting little spaces in, um, and it, it does irritate me a bit, and I'm hoping that we can sort that. If not, I do, I have ordered a dado stack for it, and I have used the dado stack using spaces, and it was an absolute ball ache. Um, you know, you get, you sort of get a few blades onto the stack, and then you knock it slightly, and then one of the spaces pops out about three blades down, and it's all gonna come back off again. Um, it's not ideal. Since doing my previous video about this table saw, uh, and today a few people have said how oh, it's been slowly going up in price. So while I was doing this video, I thought I'll just go onto their website and check how much this table saw is now. 
So I'm sure, don't quote me on this, but I am sure I only paid about 700 quid for this saw. Uh, I could be wrong because it was a year ago and I've just tried looking through uh, bank statements and, and invoices and without going into my office and digging through things that I really can't be able to dig through, um, I'm sure it was 699. It could have been 799, but it's now 995 quid. Probably plus delivery. Do I think it's worth that much? I'd have to compare it to comparable prices for different saws at the minute because I know it was close um, to a similar, slightly, slightly better spec tax minster saw before. Uh, when I say close, I mean within within a hundred-ish quid, maybe a little bit more. Um, without checking comparable saws now, I would really have to um, do that before I thought about purchasing this saw now because at 995 quid, Let's just call it a thousand quid. Um, I don't know if I would choose this saw at this time. Um, but please do your own research because if everything else has gone up in price as much as this has gone up in price, then it's still a good saw for the money. Um, but if Lumberjack have thrown their prices up and everybody else hasn't, uh, then it's maybe time to look at a different saw. Uh, this is a fantastic saw for the money, it's versatility, uh, it's reliability, it's worked out well for me, but if, um, yeah, you're gonna have to do your own research, I'm afraid. I would look around and check. But the final question, which was on everybody's lips, which is on every comment on my previous video, um, are you still happy with the table saw? And the resounding answer is yes. The money I paid for this saw, uh, was a good deal at the time um, and it is still going very strong it's still working very well it's still the absolute focal point of my workshop it gets used absolutely every single day so i hope you've all enjoyed my up-to-date one year in a uh, review of the lumberjack ts 1800 table saw if you've got any questions moving forward that haven't been answered on the previous video or there's still any questions unanswered, please do leave them in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, we've just surpassed a thousand subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. And I cannot thank you all enough for that. Um, so please keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, and we will see you again in the next video.